All right, my top five Black Power records. All right, and when we're talking Black Power, we're talking music of Black empowerment, Black militancy, Black social progress, just music that highlights the situation that Black people were in at the time of these recordings and are still in to a large extent to this day. Anyway, starting off, Sweet Sweet Back's Badass Song, Melvin Van Peebles, a great soundtrack. Um, I had to kick off with this because not only is he talking about it, he's living it because he um, wrote, produced and directed a small independent film, which is something that I've also done. It's not easy to do and um, it grows millions of, of, of dollars. My film never grows millions of dollars, but his did. So um, he, he made it happen and a great soundtrack came out of it. Have to get involved with this record. Great soundtrack. Sweet, sweet, back's badass song. Next up, um, Headless Heroes of the Apocalypse, Eugene McDaniels. The originals for this record go for a lot of money. This is not an original, this is a reissue. Um, rumor has it that when the Atlantic ex executives heard this record, um, they pretty much released it in a very small, limited amount of copies, um, refused to promote it, and I think it was quickly dropped from the label too. It's a, it's a militant record. It's been sampled by numerous people, including a, a Tribe Called Quest and everyone else. Jagger the Dagger is my favorite track on that album. Anyway, um, The Last Poets, you have to get involved with The Last Poets. It's just a drum and some poetry. They produce some of the best music of the 20th century. Very important group. Just, uh, I can't speak enough on The Last Poets. What I just showed here is The Greatest Hits, but all their albums are good too. But I just highlight The Greatest Hits because just ease into The Greatest Hits and ease into the, the rest of the stuff. Um, Gil Scott Heron, The Great. Gil Scott Heron, The Poet, Philosopher, Singer. Um, Winter in America is another album of, of his that I love, but all his, all his albums are great. Um, I picked this one, it's, it's got some bangers on there. What, Wiley on the Moon, No Knock is on, is on here, The King Alfred Plant, it's just a great album. Um, Gil Scott Heron, Free Will. Um, finally, um, Billy Paul, okay, he's an R&B singer and there is a track on here called Let's Make a Baby, but with tracks like People Power, America, we need the light. And my personal favorite, let the dollar circulate. He's talking about that black economic progress. These are five records you need to get into to just get involved and get into it. Peace.